Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, this is a rant channel. All persons in this video are real and the events are factual. Satirical speech may be used to comment and criticize on subjects. All right, welcome to Al's Backwards News, where all the stories are backwards. It's been hot outside. It's hot outside. Don't you don't you want to take a nice cool swim? Don't you? Well, you better not come here. Do not come to Southeast Michigan to Detroit River. Don't come here. My hometown. We have an, another E. coli outbreak. But this is where it gets backwards. Backwards news. We have a beautiful state park called Belle Isle. You pay to get on it. You pay to go you pay to get on it and go swimming on the beach in Belle Isle and in Detroit River. And it's full of E. coli. Do you know what E. coli is? We had another outbreak. E. coli is shit and piss, and other unidentified life forms. <laughs> so here's, here's the problem, here's the problem. All through Southeast Michigan, when we get these E. coli outbreaks, they close the beach. But since Belle Isle is in Detroit, and it's 80% black, we, de we decided to do the Tuskegee experiment and leave the beach open. And we had hundreds of people playing in the water, splashing each other. They was, look, mom, the water's brown, just like chocolate. Oh yeah, it's, it smells like uh, hot dogs or something I ate yesterday. And they're spl splashing E. coli in their eyes, their face, their mouth. So you should get diarrhea, uh, infections in your eyes, nose, throat, and ears, and be sick and vomit, among other things. The worst case is death. Maybe cholera, diphtheria will come in next. So <laughs> my news, my news asked <laughs> the Michigan Department of Resources Sup District Supervisor, Tom Bissett. You know, everybody closed the beach when the E. coli get high. Why didn't you close the beach? Oh, he, he said, it's an advisory. And he does not have the power. <laughs> he does not have the power to close the beach. Now they got the power to give you a, a traffic ticket. <laughs> that we, they got the power to give you a ticket for no fishing, fishing without a license. They got the power when, when you on your boat drinking beer to come up and confiscate your car, give you tickets and confiscate your boat. But they say if it's E. coli in the water, which will cause illness and death, he does not have the power. It's sad, it's sad, it's sad. It's, 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 tell, you tell me, is this, a, is this just a black thing? Because everybody else tests their beaches. They test their beaches for E. coli. For uh, you bean counters, 
They say they closed the beach at 130 parts per million of E. coli. And the Belle Isle Beach was 438. 438. <laughs> so you tell me. You tell me what's going on. I need the Michigan Department of Resources closed. We got another we got another environmental department called Eagle. I need them closed. I need them to fire themselves cuz nobody gives a damn and nobody gives a fuck. Eagle gives the permits out for people to dump raw sewage into the river. And oh I, I forgot. Eagle had 1,000 lawsuits. So they had to change your name. They used to be called the uh, Department of Environmental Quality. And then they got 1,000 lawsuits and changed the name to Eagle. So Southeast Michigan, don't, don't come here. Don't come here unless you want some kind of disease, a Tuskegee experiment. You know, you want us to experiment on you. Come on down here. So don't don't drink the water. Don't put your feet in it. You get, we got test that E. coli. We got uh, algae blooms. <laughs> we got creature the creature from the Black Lagoon growing out in the water. <laughs> I will see you on the next backward news. <laughs>